G'day guys, Liam Fitzpatrick here. Today I'm up a creek with a mate of mine, Tyler Bagooli, in the there back are, there. Guys. We're uh, he's he's taking me out the back of one of these local systems here, and we are right up the top. He's out of mate, has got a little private boat ramp back over there, so we've launched right up the top of this system. Got a uh, incoming tide, then a bit of run out, and should be here for the start of the incoming. It's just all natural structure, mangroves, rock bars, deep holes. Get down trees. Yeah, all the cool stuff. We got every rod under the sun rigged up. I got bloody jack gear, brim gear, grunter tarp on, light spin, heavy spin, light bait, cast heavy bait. Everything's rigged, every lure right in the boat. Bit of breeze, would have been pretty shitty getting up here, heading from the coast, but yeah. We're up here, a bit overcast. Light drizzle the whole way out, but it's held off now, so yeah, man, should be good. Here we go. Yeah, and no, I didn't know what you were into, but I rigged you up. Spin. Oh, I'm, I'm easy, bro. Bait, spin, it all does the same. I don't know what surface you want, but there's a little lively lures. Alright, lively lures all over the coast. It's my old man, eh? You like lively lures, boy? Yeah, man. Really? Alan Dolan, lively lures. Dead set. Yep. That's cool, man. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I've got on a lucky craft G splash. <laughs> uh, I think that's it, man. That's us. Let's, f let's catch fish. Just starting off throwing a surface lure, a little lucky craft G splash. Just on my point 20 pound speed stick light, running a 19 pound braid and a 30 pound leader. Tired of throwing little lively lures. Bloop it. Mm. He's got a uh, 40 pound and 30 pound rigged up on that stick. Uh, I wouldn't have set that drag, so check that. Check your drags. I say it every video. Check your drags, kids. All right. Yeah, man. Warm up cast in. All right, eyes in. Where's this rock bar? I put the electric battery on charge last night, and I meant to swap it to do both of them. Yeah. Drove out the garage this morning. Up the garage, and I'm like, what's this thing on the ground here? <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> charge leads it, dragged it off. They're good, but like, I'm no guru when it comes to reading the bass today. I did a lot of bass fishing, you know, bass. I'm like, oh, that's bass up a creek. It's like, well, what were those lines? What, what's that little thing there? I reckon I found a heap of tarp on in the Gregory the other day, just slashes all through mid water along a run. It's like, they, they gotta be pooned. Yeah, there was heaps of them. I'm seeing that and I'm heading there. That was probably a 30. Tell you what, that mullet did an awesome job of getting out of the Yeah, he was a decent sized mullet too. He rode that all the way from the mangroves a while past Now he should still be pushing into that current somewhere. Come on, get that fish, that'll be a cool start. You just want that to happen like right within cast distance. Yeah, I'm it. come through on that unit. Like, where'd you go, mate? You were there, you were hungry. Well, you want to play the game? Oh well, there'll be more of that. So good fishing new water, eh? Just never know what's around the corner. At least it's not those stupid full moon tides, man. Fucking rages. Just shit, man. Just rips through in and rips through out. Alright, this thing's gonna need a bit of love to get going. Every car I hit the water, I see about 20 jelly Yeah, I saw some back in there, eh? Alright, this is it. Oh, like it's not too cool. down oh, yep. <laughs> oh, now we're fishing, man. This is my style of fishing. Oh, until you hit the tree aiming for the gap. Oh, that's in there. 
Oh, got a little branch on it. Yeah, this shit just gets eaten, doesn't it? How do you run your weedless rig? Right. How, where's your hook? You bury them back in just a bit or leave them exposed? Uh, tuck them in. Yeah, these plastics are super soft. I bury the whole thing. True. Yeah, they rip out super easy. Like if a jack hits it, it comes straight out. Yeah, but yeah. it just comes through absolutely everything. It only works with the real soft baits. Like you destroy them and each fish that hits it, it kind of just rips it. But but your presentation's on point. Yeah, you can just, yeah, you just never have to get in there. You know what you should do? What? Be prepared for shit to happen. <laughs> yeah, start getting, what? yeah, no, nothing going on. Because, where's the net? Where's this? Where's that? That comes in handy when all hell breaks loose. Yeah, okay. Might be a day for deep rock. Yeah. Well, you're hopping and I'm rolling, so that's doing two different things. So that. Hey, you got a prawn bait on now too, haven't you? Yeah. Just mixed it up. Oh. Got him? No. Ho 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 ho. Prawn little, bait. That was a little cod or something. Yeah? Yeah. That was tiny. To start. You little bastard. <laughs> but the cod, he'll want it again. Yeah. Bit of excitement. Yeah. That flow is non-existent, eh? No. Yeah, I thought I saw a couple of fish there. Whoa. What's that big thing sitting on the bottom there? That's just behind it there. Yeah, they could be a school of trevally or something that swam through there. And then something bigger on the bottom. I'd say those five or six were trevally. They look yeah. pretty deep. I'll take anything at this stage. Yeah. That wind swung, is that just the wind pushing the leaves up? Uh -uh. Who knows? Just keep casting. Oh! Oh, mate! I got belted, the prawn kept going. Bro, uh. that was a good swell there, too. Damn it. Come back. What are you tipping that bastard was? Wow. Todd roll? Yeah, didn't exactly crunch, I didn't even expose that barb. Get one in there. Proper fish would have, buddy. Crunched it. Mm. It's a hit though. That was a barra after a mully there, bro. See that? I saw something. Was it really a barra? Yeah, that was a little buzz. Like, he's only about that big. <laughs> I seen him perfectly. He was on that mullet like a friggin' shit on a wanger, eh? That was cool, man. Whatever was going on there, that was pretty cool. Yeah, he's an exciting little fish, eh? Oh, those archers come through there. Poor mullet, man. <laughs> they just don't have a good horn. Where's my soft vibe? Yeah, got some noise in the water. I'm just going to prawn and try and match the hatch. I'm prawn with her and me have a little bit of pain here. I can't catch fish that aren't there, man. Yeah, we'll get something. Yeah, there's definitely like Trevally or something cruising up and down. What gets me, like if that was a barra back there, I know nothing about him. Because he's out in the middle of nowhere swimming along looking for a mullet deed, like what are you doing, buddy? Yeah, no. Aren't you meant to be sitting on a snag or a rock bar? Or... I learned a bit last trip to Lucinda. Yeah. We hit a few um, 
pressure point and oh, there's a big free swimming mullet. I have to wait for him to get crunched. And there was dirty water lines, like in 20, 30 foot, mm. and they were on the top, on the dirty water line, buffing bait. Like just classic, everyone says it, and they're like, they were just on the dirty water line, just doing their thing. Couldn't get them to eat. <laughs> we're throwing liveys at them, lures and shit, and they just, every now and then, just come up and hit something. Yeah. Just hit it to the grass, Just, and just head butts and shit. Oh, yeah, oh shit, oh, oh. oh. Dude, Buzz. that comes screw out to GT. <laughs> Did you see how quick that comes oh, screaming out? Oh no! Oh, dude, what? My handle just fell off. Oh. <laughs> I fixed that the other week because I broke. I broke the bit and I didn't that retainer cap that normally stops it coming off, buddy. Did a dog out. Hey, at least we answered the question. They're definitely G's. Yeah. I think it's ripped the thread of that too. Uh, it's going back on. Might be enough to land him. God damn. He put up solid to the fort too. Didn't he scream out though? Boy. The handle come off. That's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> that, made a, that made a little GT a lot more exciting than it could have been. Man, I felt the tap and I was like, oh, I missed him. And it was just <laughs> flogging out. He carved it quick, eh? <laughs> All right, there you go. First fish of the morning. Just a little GT, a little river brawler. Just ate that fish trap. He just smashed it, come flogging out of there. We've been seeing a few fish like mid-water and they're like, we've got a bit of GT. And then the bloody handle fell off my reel. <laughs> I'll give that a tighten up, but yeah, pretty cool. First one of the morning. I'll get this thing back. Here we go, one down. Crazy. Hey, look at them. Oh yeah. That'd be jeez. All right, let's see how long that holds together. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was that was hectic. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Well, that was a uh, first little bit of rocky corner and some action, so it's not bad. Wait, what's this? It is a shallow system, though, isn't it? Which isn't a bad thing because if we do snag these up, I got like that 15 foot, 18 foot lure tree pole. Oh, true. Yeah, so you won't. We won't lose them. Oh, we shouldn't lose them. Yep. Oh, dude, that other camera's off. Oh, oh. little grunter. <laughs> this camera's still rolling. Little granny. Hey, that's a fish. Yeah. Here it goes. At least you know, don't spike my foot, you Oh, now he's going to tangle the rods. Grunty boy. Yep. Only a baby. See you, mate. On the board though. Yeah, yeah, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> They're a tasty fish. Yep. Good fish. Yep. He's not carving like a G. Ah, there he is. There's the cod. <laughs> it was bound to happen. Well, it felt way bigger no, than he's, he was. He's well hooked. Yeah. Pull him. Yeah, felt a bigger than he was. He had a good little take. That's great. A gold spot. Yep. Completely. That was gonna happen. Just yep. plies behind if you need them. I'd hate to see you get a bloody look in you. There you go, kids. Use plies. You don't want to treble in your hand. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me on that one. <laughs> They haven't been showed that for holding them. No, ah, cross them out, don't they? Clamp there. There you go. There's a hot tip of the day. If Clamp you've down. ever had to pull cod teeth out of your finger, you'll try and find another way to <laughs> not do it. Happy days. There you go. Tufa. Yeah, and three metres off. Now. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, no. Yeah, I'm done. You can take it. Yeah, that initial, get him away from the reef. Oh, yeah. oh, here we go. Oh, pull the hook on him. 
Little bastard. She's a shallow old system up here, eh? Yeah, man, yeah. That's not a bad thing, because without that high tide or anything, they can't be up anywhere. And if they're here, they're in the bloody water that we can reach. I swear those holes went back up up there. That was like 14 foot or so. Yeah, there's a couple of deeper ones there. They're the ones I'd expect to see a few threadies or something sitting in, you know? Yeah. A bar or something just sulking down there. Well, we're not stopping, mate. We just keep drifting with the tide. When the tide turns, our luck might change. Well, we fished through one by a time. We got another one at 11 or 10 or 10.30, 11 30, something like that. And the moon sets at 12.36. By then, that tide should be coming back or close to, so we'll get the start of the incoming. And if we've caught nothing by then, we failed. Yeah. We leave tomorrow, so they're going and pack it up, so we? Gonna get crunched sooner or later, anyway. Oh, as soon as I said it and I load up on a snag. Same deal, looked at the sounder. It's like, yeah! <laughs> oh no, that's a, that's a snag. <laughs> yeah, man, it's got me. Ah, we'll get her out. Got the pole worst case scenario. Never used to bother about it. Once I started going down to Glen Line and taking $80 bloody swim baits down there. It's like, yeah, I might get a lure retriever. You're kidding me, aren't you? Oh, as soon as I give up, it comes up. Well, there's no way I'm getting home by 6 p.m. <laughs> I'm not leaving the water now. Yeah, the trainer boy, big fucking hinder inside. Yeah. Tell you what, it'll suck if I have to get home and pack everything up in a hurry and get the hell out of town. There'll be no bloody toilet paper on on any shelf down there. Good one? Yeah. Cod? <laughs> Another mid river one. Oh, brim. Dude! Oh, I got my first brim on lure! <laughs> you wanted a brim on lure, you just... I've never done it. Never yeah, got a brim on lure. I'm actually stoked on that. <laughs> He's not a bad fish either. There you go out with the brim master. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. <laughs> He's not bad. I'm actually really stoked on that for a little brim. First fish on lure. Oh, brim on lower. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. Cool. <laughs> you give me a touch up now. All right, we need a red one now, man. Yeah. <laughs> we need that. We really need that. Fish? Yep. Oh, dude. Oh, <gasps> dropped him. How tight's that drag? You got a bit tight. I said the hook. Yeah. What was that? I don't know, bro. I'm kind of leaning towards maybe a salmon because it was out in the middle there. Like, it was literally probably just from, you know, those big shadows? Yeah. Yeah. It would have been right about when I got to them. So, whatever the fuck one of those were. Yeah, it had some weight, but yeah. Dude. Dirty bastard. Dirty. Had weight on it, eh? Just a little tick on the line? Yep. A little. Yeah, little implosion feed. And a big friggin' heavy fish. Coming towards ya. Yeah, it was. Yeah, well, I hate to say it, but good chance. Yep. Oh, yep. Cod. Cod? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Classic clunk, oop, clunk up and down. Yeah. <laughs> Little bastard.
That is not what Tyler just hooked before. Oh my. That was the one, mate. That would have made the video. <laughs> You'd have been a superstar. Same snake. Yep. <laughs> Set it on it too. I don't know if that's going to come back as easy as I would have liked. Hoped. <sighs> oh, it just lifts off. <laughs> Comes in handy that thing. Oh, big mullet. Oh, the stick. No, that's, oh, oh. The hit. As I pulled off the stick, I got a bloody boom. Dirty dude. Probably just a cod, man, but <laughs> it was still a bloody doom. Enough to get you yeah, brought me back to life. Yeah, I love this thing. That's why I'm getting so low, and I've got one or two left. I don't do them anymore. Really? Yeah, it's one of the old norries. Don't you hate when they stop making one of your days? I know. It's a joke. Like, do I want to waste a cast early or just fish the main bit so they don't know I'm here? Might want to get your prawn in there, man, as well, eh? Yep. Oh, mother f Dude, that was a jack. Surely. One hit, one arm, half ass, hit out of there. Yeah, it's a bit rude, eh? Nah, yeah, I don't think it was big. Just grabbed at the bait. That's gonna be that pole again. Uh, I'll hold it in place. Cheers, bro. Hey, bub. Hey, Baba. What's the news? We're definitely leaving today. All right, I'll get out of here. Yeah, um, we try and make it home by six-ish, and your mum's definitely got people that aren't cancelling that are going to be here Monday, so we can't even stay on until Monday. Yeah, all right. Okay, I'm starting to pack now. All right, I'll pull the pin in a minute. Love you, bye. Love you, darling, bye. What a joke. Oh, shit, how did that one? Well, at least this thing is a good thing. That pays for itself. Well, that sucks, man. Stupid ass COVID sh mm. uh, Let's fish that little bit of rocky sh Yeah, we're not too fast. Well, that's it. Let's get a fish to make up for it. Here it is, let's make it happen. Do or die. Does this make a friggin' wooden one and shit oh. the rest of the day? It's got rattled. Did you? Yep. Something little down there. Well that sucks now, I've got to drive buddy. Five odd hours, five and a half hours home. <laughs> well, it wasn't going to be as bad, you know, get up tomorrow morning, leisurely hours, pack the car, drive home. No, no, now I woke up at bloody quarter to four and <laughs> have to drive five hours bloody home. Oh, no. Yeah, well. Oh, come on, give me a hit. You things hugging the bottom there, eh? Yeah. Uh, I've seen a, um, a half decent shadow on it before. Well, I'll take that. I'd be inclined to think that something's sitting in that there, eh? Oh. 
<laughs> I was like, yeah, little cod. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, yeah. Hello. Dude, this is a good fish. Yeah, man. Backed Ooh. him off a bit. Ready with the Dude, net. this is large. That's good shit, man. Told you to get your redemption fish. Oh, stay on now, buddy. Stay on. Dude, this is large, dude. Mate, you, oh. you just work that hole up now tomorrow, mate. Dude, this is large. If it's a thready, you become a crab pot, mate. <laughs> dude, this is large. That's those two things back in that hole. Yeah, bro. So, I did see something big on the sounder. I think you've either got a big cod. Or maybe, I don't think it's a jack. No, it's not a jack. Nah. It's got to be a big cod. It's, it's large. Big, big cod or... It's basically got to be. Come give us some colour. It's large, dude. Like lazy, heavy thing, huh? Yeah. We got leader. Oh, you it's know. a dirty ass. How the f did that even happen? F my life. Well, that's just a kick in the guts, isn't it? Yeah, right. Ah, <sighs> uh, yeah. Big dirty ass. He wants to go in there. Yeah, he probably won't. Surely that hook will pull out. It's in his flap. Yeah. I can see the bath. It's barbed from here. Even if you just. Um, Whack it with the net and get the other treble stuck in the net. It should rip out. I don't care if I lose this lure now, man. Yep. Oh! <laughs> ah, that'll do. <laughs> he ripped the rubber through. <laughs> oh, what a stitch up. What a joke. What a freaking... What a note to end it on. How muddy is this going to be getting the boat out now? Could be interesting. <laughs> oh, I think we're gonna be getting a little muddy. Yeah, man. Um, you hold us, I'll get those keys out. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Gonna suck. Oh, yeah. What a crock of sh No fish, dirty stingrays, having to pull it out on low. Well, no, Could you bad. ask for much more to go to <laughs> bench, eh? If I were you, I'd stay right there. Yeah, bro, I'm not moving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, eh? What do you do? Uh, I'll just manage to have to have a redemption fish, mate. Oh, come down the the woods. Hit your prawn. <laughs> Must be bad luck time, mate. Something like that. I usually blame it on everyone else. <laughs> Can't be my fault. Must be yours. I'm going to blame the owner. Oh, I got my first game on the I'm stoked. 
<laughs> oh, we got fish. I'll make a video out of it. It'll be a disappointing one. <laughs> On. Yeah, I meant to go and down there for a wedding in a few weeks. But... Yeah, right. <laughs> Possibly we could be cancelled. Yeah. Oh man, what a shocker. How's this? So that session just got cut short. It wasn't fishing overly well. We only got a couple hours into it. You know, we had a heap of time to go. But apparently Brisbane's getting locked down. Um, you know, we got these new bloody weird strains hit, the, uh, I don't know, whatever it is. The UK strains hit us and I'm at Woodgate still, so I gotta get home. And this is like, we gotta be back in by six. I'm just like, yeah, all right. So I just pulled the boat out, mad rush. I had to drop Tyler back. He's, uh, <laughs> he's a bit disappointed, man, but what can you do, you know? Got a couple fish, big stingray to finish it off. That just sums up my day, like what a joke. Anyway, I'm going home, pack up this house and yeah, I'm doing the Bantam run back to Brisbane. Hopefully uh, get in there and lock ourselves down before shit hits the fan again so hope you like that one wasn't much to like but hey that's fishing we'll catch us next time cheers eh? Airboard, airboard.